Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to cover a new use case scenario for bot enabled applications where you want to create a secured bot which asks known user to first authenticate before the bot starts performing the work on behalf of that user. I'm going to utilize one of my previous bot demos to add authentication to it. Oftentimes, organizations have a requirement of working with external vendors and partners who have to submit their invoices or other documents back to finance department for processing. Currently, a lot of organizations handle this through emails and manual processing as they do not wish to open up their internal apps to external vendors outside their company firewall, which is a security concern. The same scenario can be extended to internal employees as well for expense reimbursement where they might want to just take a picture of the receipt and upload it for reimbursement. However, it is still desired that the user should be authenticated and known to the system to avoid unknown people from submitting such invoices. This can be very easily achieved using authentication types like Windows Azure Active Directory which support authentication for both internal employees as well as external partners using Azure B2C and Azure B2B setup. In this bot demo, I'm going to show how a partner or an employee is asked to authenticate by the bot using Azure Active Directory. And once authenticated, he can upload an invoice using Skype bot, which takes the file and passes it on to Agile Point NX, which parses the data out of the invoice and shows that data on the form, as well as inserts the invoice details back to Salesforce system for accounting purpose. And all of this is done automatically without having to open any new connection for partners through your firewall. Keep in mind that the user is still going to be authenticated. So there is no security concerns which comes in uh, by opening it uh, outside your company. Though I use Salesforce uh, in my example, it could very well be replaced by SAP or NetSuite, etc. So before I start doing the demo, here is the application which sits behind this bot. So once the invoice is received, it is in form of an Excel form. Now it could have been uh, an image as well and you could use OCR technology to extract the image text out. I'm using an Excel form which reads the values out of the Excel and creates an invoice record using the red values in Salesforce and assigns the task uh, for approval to the manager. Once the manager approves it, the status in Salesforce is changed back to approved and a task is assigned to billing department to for the reimbursement. And once the reimbursement is done, the status is updated back in Salesforce uh, invoice to reimbursed. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to switch to my bot. I'm using Skype bot for the, uh, this example. And I'm going to type anything, say hi. So it prompts back uh, with, with an action that you first have to authenticate. So I'm going to click on this link and it asks me to authenticate and I'm going to authenticate as one of the users over here. And what it does is it sends me back a magic number. So I have to just copy and paste this magic number and it told me that I have to paste it back into this screen. So I'm going to paste it back. And if you remember, I logged in as John Smith and uh, there it is. The bot knows my identity. Um, it says that thanks John Speck for logging in and now you're ready to upload your invoice. So I can come in and say, okay, I'm ready to upload my invoice. So I have this invoice document over here. So before I upload it, I just wanted to show you the invoice. So it has the company name, address, phone, fax, invoice number, date, bill to information, some line item information for invoice, a subtotal over here, tax rate, and the sales tax is automatically calculated and here is the final total. So I'm going to go back and upload this invoice. And I get a confirmation back that my invoice has been uploaded successfully and I should be able to log out. So I'm going to go ahead and click log out and it gives me a link to complete my logout session. So I can click on it and it says I have successfully logged out from my website. Okay, so now let's see what happened behind the scene. So once my invoice was uploaded, so I'm going to go back into one of my SharePoint libraries and click refresh. It received my invoice 
and it kicked off a process so you can see a few seconds back this file came in i'm going to go ahead and say in progress now what you can see over here is it went through uh, the data got passed from my excel and a new record should have been created in salesforce so if i go to salesforce and go to a entity called partner invoice and click go you can see a new record is available over here which is the same values which i read from my excel if you remember and the status right now is submitted it got just created just few minutes back over here so my record is created and a task is assigned to this user to approve so i'm going to just go ahead and click open which opens up my form so as you can see all the information which was available on the excel is extracted out i have the link to the form as well i can click on it and open my my invoice or i can see that the subtotal tax rate and the final total is all extracted out and all i have to do is i'll say approve and submit so if i go here within the next few seconds what you see is that uh, it updates the values back into salesforce and the task is assigned to billing and if i go back to my salesforce record if you remember the status right now was submitted and i'm going to go ahead and refresh it and it changes to approved over here so the main uh, uh, feature of this demo was to show that you can authenticate a user in the bot before a certain actions are performed and all those actions can be performed within the context of that user instead of just using a service account thanks a lot for your time